Hello everyone, welcome to the garden. Um, right, bit of an impromptu video this because I put a picture on um, a couple of uh, social media groups today. Uh, growing banana plants in the UK and tropical style gardening. What, uh, I think it was on both of them. And it, it was a picture of me and Trace stood, um, oh you can see it in the background, um, stood next to the um, onset ventricosum hineba that we've got in our garden. That, that a plant that has attracted a lot of attention. I'm, I'm moulding one in my hand as well. Um, that has attracted a lot of attention on our NGS open days. So I thought I'd make a little video for a number of reasons, just to give people a bit more of an insight into the plant. I can't believe it's there behind me. It's huge, isn't it? We're going to measure it as well. Um, right, bought the plant in um, August 22. I bought it off Yorkshire Chris on one of his open days and he had a few left and he dropped the price. I think it was about 12 quid. Absolute bargain and it looked a bit like that maybe even a bit smaller i don't know um th this is an hineba or a hineba and i've got another two of them so i've got three because i'm gonna have three hinebas in the garden next year why not um right so i'll put that down <coughs> um bought it august 22 left it in a pot i don't i don't even think we potted it up um in the conservatory over winter planted it out May 2023 and I planted it in this spot here where there is a uh, onset ventricosum morellii um, and it probably got to about the same size as that I reckon um, in a pot in the conservatory for winter 23-24 planted it out again May 24 into the bed where it is now yeah and it, I measured it a while ago, it's 5.2 metres now. Some, uh, um, some person doubted my measuring skills. Um, no way, is that 5.2 metres? Look at the eaves on your house. Rah, rah, rah. Um, right, smart ass. That is a three storey Victorian semi. The, the, the ceiling's massive. And it's got cellars, so ground floor doesn't even start till about a metre up telling you i hope you're watching because i'm about to prove you very very wrong yeah right so i'm going to measure it and um uh, and i'll talk a little bit about it and why i planted it where we planted it and um what kind of growing conditions it's got it don't get a lot of sun um gets a little bit because we are southeast facing but there's a lot of trees around us um yeah so that's it let's go and take a look Right, so here it is. The leaves are getting a bit battered now. We had a few strong winds recently. It is in a slightly raised bed. Well, two sleepers high. 400 millimetres, probably about 500 because it's actually raised up at the bottom a little bit. See the base? If I move this out of the way, I'll stick, stick my hand in just for some sort of size perspective. I mean, all, all these are com coming away now. Um, right, so how it got planted here is kind of a bit by accident because um, we built this bed. First of all, story behind the bed. So it is, what is it? 2.4, 4.8 by 2.4 meters wide, approximately. I bought three one-ton bags of compost, which didn't go, which wouldn't have gone very far in here. So I kept filling my trailer up, got a six before trailer, kept filling it up from three sources of well-rotted manure. And I kind of spread it out so that where I planted things like that trachycarpus there and these brassiopsis and some schleffers and other things, I used mainly compost and with some manure in. And then I kind of filled everywhere else in with, with manure Initially, I was thinking about putting a Trachycarpus princeps in this spot, but I couldn't find one. So the Haniba was in the conservatory, so I thought, oh, looks to it, I'll stick it here. So it basically went in to a raised bed that in that particular area was just probably 80% manure, I reckon. And that's what happened. I know there's no one more shocked than us 
In fact, there's a leaf there. The damage on that leaf is where it hit the roof in the conservatory when it did kind of wake up from its kind of dormant state over winter. And it's just surrounded by all sorts, it looks great. Now let's take a look at the height. So with the help of good old duct tape, I've made a very long stick. See? And that stick is approximately five point two seven meters, which is just over seventeen foot. Now I did measure it at five point two. And I have checked it against this stick and it hasn't grown that much. It's kind of peaked out at where it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the stick up against the plant so we can see just how big it really is. Then we'll just have a quick look round. There's the other one. And that's the bed it's in. Right, time for some stick stuff. Right, there we go. So the stick is actually gone in about a centimetre into the soil. And I've wedged it between, oh, the wind's going to blow it out. I've wedged it in a, in a cut in the leaves and I'm going to try and get at an angle where you can see the top of the stick. You can see it up there. It doesn't, it's, it's actually a touch bigger than the 5.3 metre stick. It's a touch bigger. Let's have a look. The notorious leaf. If I get on the steps here, I might see it a bit better. Yeah, if it if it had a, when that leaf in the middle comes out a bit more because they grow more upright as they come out, it probably will hit the top of that stick because that middle leaf is probably about three to four hundred mil off the top of the stick, and you can see the leaves around it are uh, at all on that middle leaf. So pretty conclusive all for the benefit of one person who doubted my uh, measuring skills so yeah that's the story of our Heniba uh, all I can say is if you can find one because they're not the easiest thing to find and when they do come up for sale they're a bit pricey um, plenty of well rotted manure plenty of water as well because there's a lot of like fleshy plant material where that's it's just full of water it's amazing isn't it i'm hoping to have three of these in the garden next year oh one last thing yeah we are going to overwinter it so i'm going to cut all the leaves off and make it put it up to about here somewhere in the middle take all the leaves off because really i could probably go down to this point here and then i will trim off some of these old leaves at the bottom. Now I'm reckoning that's gonna go into maybe a 60 litre pot. 50 if it'll go, I'll trim some of the roots down as well. And it just goes dormant over winter. And you know, cause it's done a lot of stuff this year, needs a rest. Right, there it is, the story of our onset ventricosum in Eber. Cheerio.